Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today, I'll be going over this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For the full problem and the solution transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. The problem of the week this week was based on Fibonacci numbers, so I thought we'd continue and do an Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week on Fibonacci numbers. And this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem was to use the Fibonacci numbers to, find, to construct the continued fraction for the golden ratio. Uh, and to get started, we have to find the relationship between the Fibonacci numbers and the golden ratio. And to do this, we're going to uh, calculate the ratio between uh, consecutive Fibonacci numbers um, as they uh, get very large, as they approach infinity. And so, uh, what we can do is start manipulating this ratio. And to do, the, to, to do this, we're going to use the defining property of Fibonacci numbers. So, this limit is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity. Of the product of the nth Fibonacci number, uh, the sum of the nth Fibonacci number and the n minus one Fibonacci number over the nth Fibonacci number, and we can um, simplify this a little bit, uh, se separate it into two fractions. This will become one, and then it's the limit of this. And now you see that this is the limit of the uh, consecutive Fibonacci numbers with the larger one on top. And this is the um, limit of consecutive Fibonacci numbers with the larger number on the bottom. And so, if we define uh, this limit equal to x, we can say that x is equal to 1 plus the inverse of x, which is just 1 plus 1 over x. We can multiply both sides by x, and we get x squared is equal to x plus 1. Uh, we can bring the terms to one side. We get a familiar quadratic equation. And then if you use the quadratic formula, you find that x is equal to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. However, since the Fibonacci sequence is increasing and uh, always positive, the ratio is going to be positive, and therefore we know that this must be plus and not minus. And if you see, this is actually the uh, golden ratio. So now that we've established the connection, what we can do is kind of keep going with this. And so... If we start with fn plus 1 over f of n, or the nth Fibonacci number, we've already simplified this to uh, this expression. And now what we're going to do is a slight little trick, and we're going to define the same expression as This with, so this fraction is flipped, and we put it as a reciprocal. Then you can see that um, we can do the same thing as we did here. And so now this is equal to um, f of n minus 1 plus using the basic property of Fibonacci numbers. Uh, and we can keep going with this. We get 1 plus 1 over 1 plus this ratio. And then from here, we can keep going. And hopefully, you'll see what's happening. Thank you. 
is that these are going to keep continuing down, which is where we get the continued fraction. And since we've shown that the golden ratio is the um, ratio of consecutive Fibonacci numbers as n approaches infinity, what you're going to get is an infinite continued fraction with 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 all the way down to infinity. And therefore, we get the continued fraction of the golden ratio. We've constructed it from the Fibonacci numbers. And that is uh, this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week. To see more uh, videos like this, you can click here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click right here. To uh, visit our website, centerofmath.org, you can click right there. And uh, there, if you're on a mobile device, there is an I in the top right-hand corner of the screen with all of the same links. Thank you very much for watching.